Today we are going to demonstrate on STM32 F4 Discovery Board about another interesting free RTOS tutorial. Uh, over today's focus of the tutorial is to demonstrate uh, the task notification. So this is another important topic whenever you are using an a RTOS whether you are using a free RTOS or anything but the free R today we are using a free RTOS as over previous series if you have not watched my previous videos I will give that link in the comment so you can get started I have already implemented a project uh, of free RTOS here you can see two uh, running RTOS uh, two tasks in the RTOS running blinking the LEDs toggling the LEDs at different rate so this is one very basic example of free autos today's over focus is to uh, tell you how to synchronize these two tasks uh, with a notification task notification so for that purpose we will add uh, this user button in this uh, example and when we press the user button it will toggle the LED so it will the LED as we for that purpose we use two tasks one is for LED and one is for the button so let's move to the screen and see how this works let me let's go back to our SCM32 cube IDE and here you can see we have implemented two tasks and one task is for LED blinking and one is one is switch task so w one thing what we need to do is first of all we need to read the switch we did that using the HAL GPIO read pin function and we pass the port number and a pin number and we check if the GPIO pin is reset so when the button is pressed we release a notification so for that purpose we have this specific function x task notify give so the give uh, here you need to focus on the word give so the give when you say give it provide a task handler so you need to provide the led task handle so here you need to provide this function name which is responsible for your LED blinking code. So in our case, this is LED task 01. So we need to replace this name with this. And uh, whenever we are giving this notification to this handle. So if, if you go back to your main code, here you can see we have OS thread, default task, LED, task handle and let's copy that this is led task handle and that you need to provide to your uh, give task notify and when you scroll down to your led task in your switch task you need to provide that handle and it will notify that task so let's go back how to receive this notification into another task so if we come back into LED task 01 here we are focusing at this line UL task notify take so what this code snippet do it used in a free RTOS to wait for a task notification from from another task so the uh, the board output you see the LED is continuously blinking uh, but when you come here and wait for the notification and uh, you uh, the you are notified task what it does this is a free RTOS API function and it is used to wait for the task uh, to take a task notification and when you whenever you need to take a task notification you can use this notify take function and when you want to give you can use the notify give it is often used to block the execution and how it is done uh, you provide first argument as a PD true. This is a macro uh, defined in the free RTOS and typically used for the as a first argument to the UL task notify take function. It indicates that the notifications value should be cleared after it's received. So whenever a notification is received, it is 
cleared immediately after it is received. In other words, when the task receives a notification, the notification value is set to zero. So that's how the flag uh, management is happened. And uh, the second argument to that function of taking the notification is port max delay. This is another macro from the free RTOS. This is a constant that represents an infinite delay. So whenever you need to provide an infinite delay. So here, what are we going to do is we are waiting for our switch to be pressed. When switch is pressed, that a switch task release a constant uh, release a notification and gives another task a notification. And whenever the LED task receives that notification, it it would blink the LED and it will just toggle the state. So it or synchronize both of these tasks. So uh, uh, remember this concept. Uh, first of all, both of the tasks are working independently. They are not dependent on each other, but we are making them dependent for any reason. Uh, you may be want to synchronize them. You may be want some even to be happen before you implement something into your task. So how are you going to do that? There are a number of ways. You can also use the mutex. Uh, sim, uh, there are semaphores, mutex for protecting the values and giving the signals. But the simplest way is uh, using the notification. I'm going to explain uh, other uh, free RTOS, RTOS and OS related concepts like mutex and semaphores in upcoming videos. And when the port max delay is used, the timeout value is infinite. So it, it is almost like taking infinite to wait until the notification is received. So it will not timeout. Uh, basically, you can provide a timeout value how much time it has to wait for that notification. So when you provide the constant port max delay, this constant is uh, defined in free RTOS. It waits for infinite and is effectively means a wait forever until the notification is received. So when the line is being executed, it is just in an infinite loop and waiting forever for that notification to be received. And once uh, the notification is received, what it is going to do, it is haul the GPIO toggle pin. It is simply toggling an LED pin and whenever the LED pin is toggled, uh, you give a 300 uh, milliseconds delay and go back waiting for that notification to be received. And let's try to uh, program that into our board and we'll see how it reacts in our actual um, board. And I will pause the video for that. Now that I had uploaded the code in the board, you can see that when I press the button, the LED toggles.